Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove this rear emblem trim off of the lift gate on your Honda Odyssey. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to remove this lift gate trim in order to get to the back side of the uh, lift gate. We're going to start out by removing this center trim here, the closest to the vehicle. And to do that, we're just going to take a hold of it with both hands. And you just want to squeeze it with both hands and we're going to pull back on it. And when we do that, it just pops these clips loose from the body right here. And then we just need to remove these clips that were underneath the trim on both sides. Just use a flathead screwdriver and get up underneath that middle part right here. And once this middle part pops out, you can just go ahead and pull out on it and the clip comes right out. And then we're just going to grab a hold of these side trim pieces. And same thing, just grab a hold of them with both hands and pull out on them. And same with the other side. And same thing as before, we have clips underneath right there that we need to remove. And next we need to come to the end of the tailgate here and we need to pop out this uh, switch right here and to do that we're going to use a uh, plastic pry tool you can use a flathead screwdriver but you're going to risk scratching and marring up the plastic really bad um, so i like to use these plastic pry tools uh, you can get these really inexpensive off amazon um, i'll put a link in the description below where you can get these but what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to start on this side about um, three quarters of an inch from the edge. You're gonna to wanna to sneak it in between the switch here and the panel. And you're just gonna press down and kind of wiggle it back and forth. And you'll feel it give. And then with one hand, you wanna keep pressure down on that. And then we're gonna slide over about another inch and do the same thing. And when you do that, you pop these two clips here loose from the uh, panel. And then we're just gonna unplug it by pressing on, there's a uh, tab right here. Just gonna press on that tab and pull out on the plug. And then go around to the corner and we're just gonna get our hand up in behind this end right here. And then we're just gonna pull down on it and it just pops the clips loose. And we're just gonna work our way kind of across the back and the front here and just work our way across the side. Pulling down on it. And it pops all the clips loose. And the trim comes right off. And when we're pulling this trim off, it's just popping these clips here loose from the vehicle. It's got holes that they uh, clip into and typically these clips will just come off with the panel and stay on the panel sometimes they will stay in the holes um, and just want to use either your plastic pry tool or screwdriver and pry around them to work them out and then take them out and then you just want to slide them back into the trim before you put it back on and it slides into that first layer not the second one there so they go in like that um, but yeah, typically these are fine. They don't break them. Sometimes they'll, they'll fall off the car, so you might lose them. But if you do break them or lose them, um, you can get replacements of these also, and I'll, I'll link to these two down below. So now we're going to remove these two nuts right here using a 8 millimeter socket. And then there's also another nut that's through this hole, just up from these other two we just took out, up through this hole here. And to get to it, we're gonna have to use an extension to get up through there. So 
Next, come around to either side of this molding right here, and we're gonna take our plastic pry tool again, and we're gonna get it underneath the very end right here. And you just wanna get underneath the end, you don't wanna pry too hard, but you wanna get just where it's starting to bend out a little bit and get a little pressure on this molding. And it'll make more sense once I show you on the other side what we're doing. And here on the back side of the lift gate, if you look here behind the uh, tail light, kind of past this plug, you'll see that red clip right there. What we need to do is we need to squeeze on it with a needle nose. And we're going to come in from the bottom. And you can see that this one tab is on one side. Well, there's one on the other. We just need to squeeze both those tabs. And that plastic pry tool that we put on the other side is going to keep pressure on that molding. So that way when we squeeze those, it'll pull the uh, tabs through. Alright, so you can see it just gave, and my plastic pry tool kind of flew out and hit the floor, and that's exactly what we want. We want it to pop through, and then we're going to go ahead and reset that plastic pry tool. So now this very end is loose, so we're just going to take it and we're going to slide this plastic pry tool as far over as we can go until it stops. And this will maintain pressure right here, and then we'll go around to the other side and start popping those clips off. Alright, so now we're going to be prying on these clips here, or uh, squeezing with pliers rather. And you might be able to see right there on top is a little tab. Well, yeah, each of the, one of these has a little tab on both sides of them. And so we're going to go ahead and start with the one that's farthest over here by our uh, plastic pry tool. And we're going to squeeze those two tabs. And then come over here and squeeze this one. And typically all the tension's released now, so we have to go reset our plastic pry tool again before we can get this one. Um, but this one just popped through, and basically we're going to keep working our way down with these three, and then go over to the other side. It's a mirror image, do the same thing until we get back over to the very end and get this molding off. And now we're down to this last clip, this uh, red one here on the end. So before we go ahead and get it with our needle nose, you want to reach one hand around and go ahead and grab a hold of your molding and just try to secure it um, because as soon as this one lets go, then there's basically nothing holding your molding on. So you're going to want to make sure that you have one hand on it to make sure it doesn't hit the ground. And then once you feel that clip give, you want to get it and lower down your lift gate, and then use both hands to pull off your molding. And we're going to have some wires on the back side here that we're going to have to unplug. We'll start with this one here on the end, just push this tab on the top and pull out on it. And then we've got this other one right here. Press on the tab with uh, one hand, and then with your other, pull out on the, the uh, plug. And then we just got to feed these wires around these little uh, clips there. 
and then your molding's off. And that's it, guys. That's how you remove your molding. Thanks for watching.